Good morning. Can anybody see me? Hopefully, um, Jilly can let me know that you can see me. Um, fingers crossed this is all working. Hi. Hi, Janet. Yeah, so you can see me. Good morning, Jill. Wow. Yeah, a little bit of a learning curve for me this morning. I did do a little test. Um, so just bear with me for a moment. I think we're all good. Um, fingers crossed. We will see what happens. Okay, let's have a look. Right, good morning. Welcome to the shack. Stay home and craft, safe, happy and creative. There we go. Super duper. Just had the thumbs up from Barb. Um, so thank you for joining me today. This is the first Groovy Tuesday. Um, we was going to call it Stay Home and Groove, but we thought we might have got banned. So we're going to stick with the shack shack. Um, again, it's all about sort of enjoying yourself and sort of just chilling out and seeing what happens. Um, so as part of today, what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at the Groovy Starter Kit. Now for me, parchment craft has always been, um, it's been one of those beautiful skills and sort of crafts that when you look at it, you just go, wow. But when I tried it traditionally all those years ago, I was impatient, I was heavy handed, I wanted an instant result. Um, so what we did, we, we came up with the Groovy system and what it does, it just makes it so achievable to get that beautiful crisp line art every single time. So over the course of this hour, what we're going to do, we're going to explore the starter kit. We've got two different um, versions of it and I know that I need to start saying um and that will just, I'll, I'll get used to that. So. We've got the two different starter kits. We've got the Deluxe Starter Kit, which I know a lot of you have already got at home and it's probably still in the box and you haven't got it out because you think, oh, I don't know what to do. And then we've got the little mini starter kit. So let's just have a look at the starter kits in a little bit of detail. So this is the, the big Deluxe Starter Kit. Now this, the Deluxe one and the mini one is exactly the same. It's just the size, okay? So if you're looking to start out and you think, oh, I don't want to invest so much in a larger kit, I just want to see what's what, then go for the thing. Oh, this one is fantastic for the children as well. It's compact, but they can craft along with you and just get two completely different effects from it. So within the starter kit, what you're going to get, the idea behind it was that you get this home and you can get crafting instantly. So inside, we have, I'm going to go here first, whoops, he says, all fingers and thumbs. Oh, this is nervous like TV. So in here we've got the, the plate mate. And for me, this is key to the whole system, okay? Because what it does, it houses all of our A5 square plates and it also houses our little baby plates as well. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go through that. So we're going to be working with this. We've got our black mat, which is double-sided. This one's nice and clean because it's just come out the box. Hard on one side for when you're tracing out. Whee, steady. When you're tracing out. And soft on the other side for when we come to do white work. And over the course of the year, we'll go through all the different techniques. But we're just going to keep it really simple to start with. So that's key in my head. Then we've got three four beautiful plates. We've got the trees, we've got the mountains, hills and moons and suns. Essential, nested squares. Perfect for putting a frame around and confining the area in which you're working with. Sometimes you can look at a piece and think, oh, am I going too big? Am I going too small? Um, this is great for that. Then the recent addition that we added in at the beginning of last year, I think it was, this is the groovy inset plate. So what this does, it allows you to put the baby plates in there. So it means if you've gone big, then it's easier to go small. Whereas if you go small, it's that little bit more difficult to go large. Then we've got the essential tumble dry sheet. So no tumble dryer required. 
Then we have our two tools in there and these are key because they've been designed to specifically work within each of the grooves on our plates that we bring out to you. In addition to that, you've got 20 sheets of A5 parchment. And then finally, you've got a project sheet, a double-sided project sheet. And for those of you that are in the, our various clubs, you'll be familiar with this layout. You've got beautiful step-by-step -step images created by the lovely Tina and narrative as well. Now, one thing it does say is that this starter kit carries a warning. So I'll give you that warning now because if you're new to it, it is so, so addictive. But it's crisp, it's clean, there's no mess, you can, it's compact, it's portable. Um, I'm, when I'm at home, I often have it on my lap. I've got one of those trays with a cushion underneath. I can my light panel underneath if I choose to. Um, but it's just nice and easy to work with. So you've got that warning on there as well because it really is. And say so you've got those two projects. Okay. In addition to that, what we've done as a special offer to sort of introduce it and to get people hooked into Groovy is we've also included the beautiful butterfly plate. So again, this is the A5 one, um, which I'm going to be working with. And in addition, you've also got the small one. Now, where did I put that little small one? It's hiding from me on the table somewhere. Here it is. There we go. So you can see the different sizes. So what I'm going to go through over the course of this hour is we're going to break this down and we're just going to take it very, very slowly. Okay, because I know looking at the orders from the last week, there's a lot of people that have decided to jump on the groovy. So what we're going to do next is we're going to break it down. Okay, right. Let's have a look. So this is where we're heading. Okay. Now, we may not get all of this done today. Let me bring it in on this camera here so we can really see. So we may not get all of this done today, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a play. And I'm gonna show you about the pressure, about using the different ends of the tools, and how you can really sort of get creative when you look at the design. What I also did to start off with was just to show you how when you look at the plate itself, Okay, we've got this beautiful design here. So you've got the lovely reef and the butterfly on the inside. But what you can do is you can break it down and use the elements. So again, just trace out the reef. And that, for me, makes a beautiful card just as it is. Okay. Next, if we take the piece in the middle, you've got a beautiful butterfly all on its own. Okay. Now, when it's laid over the top, you can see how they just sit perfectly. So as a new person to the Groovy system, you've got that flexibility. A number of our plates you can just trace out and you've got a beautiful card made instantly. As Barb always says, the Groovy is like being on a train or a bus journey. And you can get off at whatever stop you want to. But what you'll find is that as it goes over a period of time, you'll want to stay on that bus just a little bit longer. Um, and you get the confidence because the groovy system gives you that confidence, which is the starting point of getting that beautiful crisp white line art. When we're going along this journey, if you're going to keep with me every week, what we're going to do is we're going to break it down in stages. So we're not going to run ahead or, or sort of say, right now, have a look at this. We're going to take it slowly. As Barb says, we're going to ease gently throughout the year. So hopefully, if you've got any questions, you can pop them up there, and I'm sure somebody will text me if anyone wants to know something in particular, or if I haven't explained clearly enough, then by all means, give me a shout. Right, I think I need a sip of coffee. I'm not gonna tell you what coffee this is today. Oh, and breathe. Groovy is relaxing. And what you'll find is that as it goes through this process, over the, the time, you'll notice that my voice will slow down. Because for me, it's a really sort of calming process and I find it a really good way of relaxing. Even if I don't want to create a, a finished card, then just tracing out the line art is fantastic. 
let me just show you a couple of samples I just put together just to show you. So you know we was looking at the reef here. Here we go, where I've just traced out the reef. What I did, this one here, I've just introduced some colour and some white work. The plate mate is fantastic because it allows you to personalise. Um, you've got the great, um, 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 I will stop saying om, I promise. I'll think of a different word. But you've got that personalisation. And when we look at the piece here that we're going to go to, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you can use that alphabet to its full advantage. So that's one little sample there. Then the one that we're going to here, we've just done on the clear parchment, but look at it on designer parchment. So you can get a completely different look by just changing the, the, par the parchment. And that doesn't require anything whatsoever. Um, you don't need to do any other white work. You don't need to add any colour. It, it's great. And it, it's, it's all about, that. I say, that bus journey and sort of just exploring and relaxing. And then finally, I've done this little one here where I've taken the elements, because again, that's the great thing with the groovy system. When you look at that beautiful butterfly reef, you can see that you can take all those elements out and position them wherever you want to. Okay, should we get, should we get started? So what you're gonna need is the following. We need our plate mate, okay. Then we're gonna start off with our beautiful butterfly plate. Now you probably can't see this up against my shirt, can you? So, butterfly plate, okay. Now, when you're working with the groovy system, you're working backwards, so you're working on the back of your parchment. And so therefore, when you look at the plates, if they've got any words on them, they need to be spelt backwards. Because if you run your finger over it, you'll find that if your fingernail will go in and it sort of catches in the grooves. And that, for me, is the beauty of the system. We're going to place our plate in our plate mate, because again, this is key when you're starting out. And what I'm going to do, just to make it nice and easy, I'm going to take a piece of A5 parchment. Now, what I tend to do, this A5 parchment is the same width as the plate mate. And it also happens to be the same depth as the plate. So for positioning, and because we're working with the reef, this is really good. Because what I'm going to do, I always line my parchment up so it goes across the side and it's the same size as the plate. I'm going to take a couple of groovy tabs. Now, if you haven't got groovy tabs, you can use some um, low tack tape to hold it in place. And we're going to attach it just there. Okay. And what that means is that throughout the hour, I can lift up, I can turn it over, see if I've missed anything out. And then if I have, then I'm just going to position that back in place and it's lined up perfectly. So, I'll stop saying so as well. We're going to get started. So are you all ready? You got your tea, coffee ready, water, whatever you're going to drink? I need some more coffee. I don't, know if, I don't think this cup's going to last me the hour. Okay. And breathe again. Right, so we've got our plate, mate. We've got our plate in place with our piece of parchment attached to the top. Next, when we look at the tools that come in the starter kit, you'll see that they're numbered. So let's come over here. So we've got the number one and the number two, the number three and the number four. So they all increase in size. You can see the, the ends of each of them. They're slightly bigger as the number increases. For this, what we're going to do, we're going to concentrate on the number one tool. Now, the number one and the number two have been designed to specifically work within the grooves with ease. Okay. And if you've got the Percomano tools, you can use the one mil, you can use the 1.5. Um, it just depends what you're more comfortable with. But if you've gone for the starter kit, then these are included. And for me, I... I because I was brought up with the Groovy system rather than the Pergamano system, for me, I find that the wooden tools is more comfortable. 
Um, but as you progress and become more addicted, then you may want to go over to the Pergamano tools because you'll get the same result. Okay, let's get started then. So, got my tool, got my parchment in place, tumble dryer sheet. Now this is key because what it does, it creates a lubricant on the parchment and it allows the tool to glide more easily within the grooves. So all we're gonna do to start off with is just wipe over our parchment, okay? And what I wanted to do, just before I do it, I just wanna show you the difference, for example. If I take, I'm just gonna take my nested square plate for a moment and just show you something. Let's take a scrap of parchment. So I'm not gonna wipe the parchment and I'm gonna use the number one tool. And what's happening is it's ripping. The parchment is ripping because there's, and it, I'm struggling to draw a straight line. If I wipe the parchment, crisp and clean. So you can really see the difference. And for me, if you find that when you're using um, your plates and you find you're getting resistance, then it's possible that you may have forgotten to wipe your plate, wipe your parchment. Okay, so let's go back here. So to start off, we're gonna have a bit of a warm up exercise. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna trace out, where's that gone, it's hiding from me. We're gonna trace out the outer reef, okay? Um, I'm gonna show you some different hints and tips on how to hold the tool if you find that it's too comfortable, uncomfortable. But we're just gonna take it easy and we're gonna do it in real time and we're just gonna chill out and get in the groove. I'm gonna use the Groovy Guard to lean on and it's only because I've put some hand cream on and it's just easier for me to lean on because the heat in my hand can cause the parchment to warp. That's the word I'm looking for. So find anywhere on the plate and what we're gonna do is we're gonna push the tool into the groove, okay? Now, you don't have to get a crisp white line every single time. The idea is that you can go over it very lightly if you choose to until you build up your confidence and you can go back over it. You can go over it several times if you choose to, but all we're doing is just putting it in there. Now, let me just show you something. If I go on very, very lightly because I'm not sure of what pressure I need to go on, you'll see, and if I go fast, I'm jumping out of the lines. And if I jump out of the lines, it doesn't matter because it's only going to emboss the lines where the grooves are. So let me turn this over and just show you how you can see. So hopefully we can, there we go. So this is where I put my normal pressure on and then this is where I went on lightly because I'm new to it and I wasn't sure exactly how much pressure to put on. But because I've got my plate mate and my parchment attached there, I can line that up and that's now gone in back into perfect position. So, because I know that I've missed areas over here, I can go back over it. Don't be scared of going through the parchment because if you're using the right tools and the right parchment and you've wiped it with your tumble dry sheet, then it's unlikely that you'll go through your parchment. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, see, I can hear my voice has slowed down already. We're just gonna go through and we're just gonna gently, very slowly, trace out our design. Okay. How's everyone getting on? Are we all on the, on the same track? And we're just gonna go around and start creating the design. Now there's no right or wrong place of where to start. You just feel where, start wherever you want to. And we're gonna follow it through. And again, if you find that you're getting a little bit of resistance, bring in the tumble dry sheet and just give it a little wipe. There we go, nice and easy. 
and we're just gonna follow that all the, oh see look i went a little bit too fast so i jumped out don't be scared of it i, I just love it it's just so and what i tend to do is i'll turn my work so that i'm staying in the same direction and all i'm doing is i feel comfortable with what i'm doing okay so we just follow it through when i'm tracing out a plate if i'm just tracing it out for the first time i'm not actually looking at the design itself because what i'm doing is i'm just following the pattern this could be a word this could be a flower it could be a bird i'm not really concentrating on what the actual design is and what that means is as long as I'm going to trace it exactly how it is on the plate I haven't got to think about what I'm doing and I think that is one of the reasons why I find it so relaxing okay so let's have a look let's see how we're getting on so if I lift that up now I can see how we're starting to build up the design okay nice and easy but again the beauty of the groovy system is that you can pick and choose the different elements so we're just keeping it nice and easy and we're just doing that beautiful reef but as your confidence grows you're for me this is one of the first plates that we ever brought out and it's it's an for me it's one of those ones that is timeless you can use it for any different occasion. You can use elements of it. You can take the flowers out. It, it's one that if you're starting out, you'll go back to it. And it, for me, it'll be like a favorite one. So we'll pop that back in place. So let's see, there we go. Look, lined up nice and easy. And then what we're gonna do is, well go, oops, wrong camera. It wasn't meant to look at the head. Right, so let's go back here. So I hope you can see this okay. Let me see, where are we going? This is like Bernie the Bolt trying to, there we go. I think that's nice and clear for you. So we're gonna give that another little wipe and then I'm gonna turn it round because again, I feel comfortable the way in which I'm working. So we're gonna carry on and trace out our design. One of the reasons for me personally that I think that this is fantastic for children is because they don't have to concentrate on what they're doing. It's all, all the hard work technically has been done for you. And when I've done workshops in the past and there's been children in the group, the look on their face when they turn it over and they can achieve something as beautiful as this without actually thinking about it oh went a little bit faster so if you go for just take it nice and slowly so if you're looking for a hobby for the grandchildren or the children it's great i mean we've had kids as young as five using the system because it really is it's different to sort of stamping or stuff like that because with stamping it really is a skill because you've got to know what sort of ink to use, what type, of, how much ink to put on, how wet is your ink pad, all that type of stuff. And then you can stamp out a design and it, because you haven't applied the right application, you've got to do it again. With the groovy system, you're gonna get the same crisp white line every single time. So if you're batch making for invites and stuff like that when when we can then wedding invites these are fantastic for getting to that stage because it's easy to replicate now if you're one of our lovely club members you'll know at the moment we've got our half price member sale and what that means not only do you get a beautiful project um every single month with a you get the project and you get the product. So we've got the stamp, we've got the stencil, we've got the dies, and we've got the groovy. And the groovy designs have been created by the lovely Linda Williams. 
So for those of you not familiar with Linda Williams, Linda Williams is a master Pergamano tutor. Back in the day, if you said to somebody, oh, what type of craft do you do? Are you a stamper? Do you do die cutting? If you said, oh, I do Pergamano, then you instantly knew that you did this type of artwork. And it's worldwide. I mean, there's people in Australia, Canada, New Zealand, all over the US, all taking part in the with parchment craft. And there was only two master tutors in the whole world, and Linda Williams was one of them. So if you're interested in joining our club or finding out more information about that, I'm sure Jilly will put the link in to the page on our website where you can read all about it, you can sign up online. If you're not into online shopping, then you can give the office a call um, and the lovely Janine or Anna will be able to take that information for you. And obviously, I mean, we, we own Pergamano now. So to have the likes of sort of Linda Williams, um, who's well known and a traditional parcher, um, on board and embracing the groovy system is absolutely fantastic. So what we're going to do, we're just going to carry on. I think what I'm, I'm, I'm conscious that I'm a little bit disjointed in what I'm saying. I'm sort of waffling a little bit, but I think it's because <laughs> this is so different to a TV show. And I hope there's everyone there still at home joining in and crafting along, getting in the groove. So we're just going to follow that through. So again, the clubs, you can join one, you can join two, you can join three or all four. And depending on how many clubs you join, you can pay annually or monthly. You can, um, you'll get instant access to our half price club member sale, which is on all clarity products across the board okay and this is just it's just so addictive so for me the clubs i mean before i came to work with clarity i belonged to the clubs the stamp club because the stamp club was the only one back then when i joined and it was great it was like once a month it was like a little christmas present i'd get a little surprise through the door with a beautiful project by Barbara and a beautiful stamp. And then I would adapt it if I wanted to, different colorways. So for all of our clubs, you're gonna get that. You're gonna get, if you've gone for the groovy, you get the groovy plate designed by Linda Williams and the step-by-step -step by Linda and Lynn Jackson. If you go for a stamp, you've got the stamp designed by Barbara or Mel, the stencils the same and the dies. But it's just a fan, it's all part of sort of being, it's, it's like that community, isn't it? It's all about sort of keeping one another company and just going with the flow. So I've almost finished mine. So let's have a look. We're just going to follow this all the way around. And if you find, for example, I remember when I first started, sometimes a lot of um, the ladies say, oh, I'm really struggling with the pressure because what you find you do, it's like when you're holding a pen. So another way of holding the tool, if you find it's a little bit uncomfortable after a while, I mean, obviously you can stop. You haven't got to complete this in one go. That's one of the great things about the groovy system is that you can do a bit, pop it to one side, come back to it. If you keep it attached to your plate, mate, then it's perfect for that because you know exactly where you need to carry on from. So you can hold the tool like a normal pen or what I found over the years, I remember a teacher, he was left-handed and when he used to write, he used to put the tool between those fingers there. I mean, I'll do it on my right hand so you can see. So basically, if you take your hand out and you pop the tool there, and you say, and what that does, it relieves the pressure on this part of the, the fingers. It takes a little while of getting used to, but it's still achievable. And you can just trace out the design. So if you find that 
okay, I wanna try and do it a different way, then just have a practice. So again, all you're gonna do is just pop it between those two fingers and then do it. Okay, how are we doing for time? Wow, half past already, where's that time gone? Gosh. Okay, how are you getting on at home? Have you managed to complete that part of it yet? Should we have a look and see what I've done so far? Because really, this is just a warm-up exercise. Because if you remember, here we go, this is the, the piece there that I've just traced out. This is just to get you used to how the tool works, how the groove works, and how the system works. Because what we're heading for is this piece here, where we're gonna take a section of it and then put the beautiful butterfly in the middle. We're not gonna put any color on. It's all about enjoying the ride and just sort of chilling out. And again, it's just so easy. It's just like the normal shack with a pen and a pencil. And the only difference is we're using the groovy system to create our beautiful artwork. Um, I don't know, it's, for me, it's just so, so relaxing. Um, and it's so enjoyable to be able to get something like that with a crisp, clean line art every single time is just magic. And again, going back to that journey of being on the bus, it's sort of like, if you wanted to, you can stop at this point, pop it onto a card and the job's done. It really is. But I know that you're going to stick with me over the coming weeks and months and we're gonna build up that journey. And we may have the likes of Linda Williams joining us, Glynis, Josie Davidson, all renowned in their, their field of sort of expertise. Glynis with her snipping, Josie with her grids, Linda being Linda, uh, white work and coloring. And I've just had the real honor of being able to work alongside those people and learn from them. And the groovy system just gives you that confidence to be able to learn and want to get on, stay on that bus just a little bit longer and just carry on. Okay, so how are we all getting on? Let's have a look at some of these comments. Let's just put some, this piece of here where I just have a quick read. Wow, exit. Scotland, lovely. So it's just nice to see so many people taking part and enjoying it and everything else. Okay, I need more coffee. So, got, not got to half the cup yet. Oh, dear. Are we all okay? Are you enjoying it? It's really strange. Normally, I'd, if we're at a retail show, I'd say, go on, have a go. But I can't because I know it, it's virtual, isn't it? And it, it's all about... I found from experience when we've done the retail shows or our open days that hopefully we'll get to at some point, is that as soon as you give someone this tool and they see how easy it is, I'm not saying it just for the sake of it, that it's easy, because it, it really is. If you can hold a pen, you can use the groovy system. And to get results like this time and time again, is just, for me, it's, it's beautiful art. And when it's combined with designs from Barbara and Mel and Tina and Linda, it just makes my job a lot easier. And it's just about sharing that with everybody at home. Um, because we can't get out to the shows and stuff like that, social media, this will be available on YouTube later on today. It's all about just sharing, staying home, crafting and staying safe. So, so how are we all getting on? Are we all ready to move on to the thing? Because what we're gonna do, that piece we've just done, we're gonna pop to one side and we'll come back to that in a couple of weeks. It was just a, a warm up, just to, to get you going, okay? Right, so what we're gonna do now, carefully remove this from my plate, mate. Okay, and as I said, we'll pop this to one side for a project later on. Now, if you want to, by all means, you can do something like just popping it onto a piece of designer paper. I've added some color in, but just having that design on its own 
when you pop it onto some designer paper behind it, it's just so easy. And I mean, that, just the black and white, to me, that's parchment craft. Really, really simple. Okay, pop that to one side. We're gonna pop our plate back into the middle. And now, oh, that was what I wanted to show you. You know, we were talking about the different size um, starter kits. I traced out the same design in the two different sizes. So this is from the, the Deluxe starter kit. And then this one is from the Mini starter kit. So you can get exactly the same results, but just in miniature. So if you want to make smaller cards, perfect. But if you want to do nice size cards, I think this is probably about five inches, then it's great. You've got that flexibility. And if you've happened to have gone for both of the plates, you can mix and match them. So you could take the smaller butterfly and pop it in there. You could take the smaller reef and do different things with it as well. In, you could fill in some areas. It's all about just looking at the plate. We always say that when you get a new plate home, that you just take a piece of clear parchment and you just trace out the design. Not only does it then make you feel comfortable with what you've got, if you've got some plates that have got loads of different elements on them, you'll notice that as you trace it out, you'll see things that you never saw when you first looked at the plate. Um, it's quite interesting because when I test the plates, either myself or Lucy or Lisa, the girls in the office, when they test them, because they've been working on the line art, they may not necessarily see things, if that sort of makes sense. So just get a new plate, trace it out, just exactly what we've done there, and you'll be surprised at the different things. And then you'll think, there was a flower on there. Where, what plate was that on? And then what will happen as your stash grows and grows and grows, you'll just think, oh, what plate was it? And then you'll just go to one and go, oh, I'll use this one instead. Because there's so many elements on our design plates that you can take bits from here, you can take bits from there. You've got that flexibility. And a lot of the styles will mix, whether it be Linda Williams, Barbara's, Mel's, Tina's, you're fine. Normally I can look at a design and say, Linda's designed that, Barb's designed that, Mel's designed that, Tina's designed that. They've all got their own unique style, but it's surprising how those designs can mix in with one another. So now we're gonna sort of make a start on this one. And I know we're not gonna get this finished, but what we can do is we can have a look and we can start the process. Okay. Another piece of parchment from your stash. So again, piece of A5. And remember what I said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna line it up so it's nice and straight down the side of our plate and it's lined up top to bottom. So what that means is, even if I was to take it off, I'd forgot to lift up and I take it off, I know that my starting position is always in the same place. Okay, so I'll take my little groovy tabs and we're just gonna attach it onto our plate mate again. Now, what's the next thing I need to do? What do I need to do next? Wipe it with a tumble dry sheet. Okay. So we're gonna wipe with our tumble dry sheet so that we've got a nice wipe on there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna concentrate on the center part. Now with our clear parchment, it doesn't matter what side you work on. There's no right or wrong side to the clear parchment. When we come looking later on at the different colored parchments, there is a right or a wrong side. Let me see if I can explain. I'm sure I've got, I'm sure I've got some colored parchment here. Let me have a look. Here we go. I've got, there we go, here we go. And this will show it off really well. Red parchment, okay. If I hold it to an angle, you'll see how it's got that beautiful sheen to it. And on the other side, it's more matte. So if I bring that over, there we go, you can really sort of see that, the difference. What that means with our colored parchment is that the color 
has been applied to one side okay and when we're working with it if we want a beautiful crisp white line we need to have the color side facing us so that when we trace out we get a beautiful crisp white line sometimes we don't want that crisp white line to be as prominent so what we can do, we can work on the other side of it and get like a really sort of soft, you know, if you're doing stamping and you want like a watermark effect, you can get that effect with parchment um, because you can, uh, uh, let me just show you very, very quickly. Okay, I know I digress slightly, but I think it's, if I just highlight the difference, because I know all the um, parchment is in our member cell. So, shiny side up, all I'm going to do, I'm going to do this little flower here, okay. Tumble dry sheet has gone for a walk, there it is. So I'm just going to wipe that there. I'm going to take my groovy guard, number one tool, and I'm just going to trace out the design, okay. Nice and easy, nice and slowly. So this is the magic of coloured parchment. Remember I showed you that sample at the beginning on the designer parchment. So now when I turn this over, I've got that beautiful crisp white line. And that's because I've been tracing out on the reverse, which is the shiny side. You can really sort of, see, there we go, look at that. Beautiful sheen on there. However, if I wanted to get more of a watermark background, then I can deboss it like it is there or I can turn it over, wipe this side of the parchment, trace it out from this side. And so this is sort of great for creating lovely subtle backgrounds. And all of our parchment, because it's the colored parchment and designer parchment, because it's double-sided, you can get a different effect. So there we go. So you can see that's it embossed and it'll make a beautiful background if you chose to. Right, okay. Let's have a look, where are we going? Right, should we go back to this bit? I got sidetracked there. It's so easy because there's so much to learn and to know and I don't wanna sort of throw, oh, there we go, throw too much in, but I think it's important, especially if you wanna take advantage of our member cell at the moment. Okay, right. Did I wipe it? Oh well, can't remember. Let's give it another wipe. And I want my groovy guard again. Now this time, we're gonna concentrate on the circle and the butterfly, okay? So let's do this together. I'm gonna just trace, I'm still using my number one tool. And all we're gonna do is follow the design. Again, with the groovy system, if I want to, I could just trace the outline of the butterfly. Whoops. See if I just, there's one wing there. And we come round to this one here. And we're gonna follow, my voice is going. So look, if I hold that up now, I could just do the outline and infill that I could put the little flowers in there. I could use some other plates that we've got to infill, or I could just leave it completely empty. This is where, as you get the confidence, you then think, right, okay, I don't want these bits on here. Ooh, you don't have to trace them out if you don't want to. One of the other things I found, especially with the, I suppose it's, it's crafting in general, really, I've been crafting for many, many, many years, um, probably like a lot of you at home. And for me, it was always that escape. Um, it was something to distract me, something else I got enjoyment from, the achievement. But what it also did, when I started to go into retail shows and sort of meeting different people that I'd seen on TV and, and stuff like that, it was really, it sort of, it was the excitement of saying, and actually being up close and personal to see someone work their magic. And I remember all those years ago, 
um, I think it was uh, the NEC the first time, and I was walking down the aisles, and I think it was only the first or second time I'd ever been to the NEC, and there was this massive crowd on this stand, and I thought, oh, this looks interesting. And I went along, and there was this woman demonstrating, and um, she had this thing called a brayer. I thought, oh, what's that? What's a brayer? Because at that point, I was just really into stamping or decoupage. Love decoupage. And as I got closer, there was this lady with this brayer, and she was working on magic with a piece of torn paper, creating hills and landscape. And it was just, wow. It was just absolutely magic. And um, so, like, I don't think the internet was probably even showing my age now. The internet was fairly newish back then. There wasn't much out there. And um, and so I looked up in my little guide who it was, and it was a company called Clarity Stamp. And I thought, hmm, I like this. I like, like the Brayer idea, and the stamps were absolutely gorgeous. A few years later, um, it, the way things develop, I started doing some work with a lady called Wendy Stenton. Some of you may be familiar with, she did templates. Okay. And um, there was a little show in Worthing, down, yeah, the Charmond Dean Centre down in Worthing. And um, there was, we'd set up and um, there was this stand next to us and there was a lady called Barb Gray. Oh, I recognise that name. And then face and everything else. Um, and what I didn't realise at the time was that Barbara actually only lived 15, 20 minutes away from me. I mean, it's, it's such a small world. You really wouldn't think um, that you see someone sort of... Uh, it's hard to explain. It's sort of like you see these people at these shows and you're just a customer and then you sort of go on the other side and then you start demonstrating and stuff like that. And it is a skill to be able to do that. And Barbara had been obviously doing it for many, many years and always had a crap. And really, that's where the friendship started. We got chatting, um, I became a design team member, and then all of a sudden, I'm now working at Clarity, so I feel very, very lucky. It's got to be at least 15 years since I've known Barbara and Dave, at least. And it's and Mark and Grace, I mean, they, they were like that um, at the shows and stuff like that. And they'd all always been running around and helping out, helping the customers. And it's always been that sort of family orientated type of business. And so to be invited to come and be part of that, for me, has been very, very special. And to be able to share my skill. I mean, as I said, the groovy system, there's no real skill required for tracing out. That comes later. But to be part of that, it's really, it's special. It really is special. And when you see people who do workshops and stuff like that, and they start using the groovy system for the first time, and they see what they can get, it's all about the power of clarity and what it all means about the community. No problem's ever a big problem. Everyone helps everyone. We've got Groovy Worldwide on Facebook. Um, so if you want to find out more information, you can go there. There's so many people on there sharing their work, asking questions. The design team members are on there. It really is, it, it's, it's just a lovely place and it's safe and it's happy and it's very, very creative. Right, okay. Ooh, that got me there. <laughs> a drop of coffee, I think. Wow. Okay. So how are we getting on? Have we all got this stage here? Have we all got our beautiful butterfly? How are we doing for time? Oh, ten! wow, that time's just flying by. Just like the little butterfly. Absolutely gorgeous. Really, really love this plate. Okay. Right. And breathe. Can't believe the first hour was nearly over. Wow. Okay. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take this, okay, and we're going to pop it to one side. Because what I wanted to do is to show you about the other elements that are on the plate. 
So we've got the beautiful alphabet, the letterbox alphabet. So you've got the uppercase and the lowercase. These little letterboxes, for me, are key when you're um, learning to use the letters backwards um, because you automatically want to write the correct way because it, that's the way we're taught at school. But to work with parchment, it takes a little bit of thought and a little bit of thinking before you do it. We've also got all the various ordinals, the hashtags. This one here, this little flower here, or an asterisk, is fantastic for little flowers as well. So there's so much on the plate, mate, and that's why I know by using the starter kit over the, we could be using the starter kit and this plate for weeks and weeks and weeks because there's so much to show you the different elements on there. But let's have a look at some, some writing, shall we? And how we're gonna work and do our words backwards. First of all, you need to decide what word you want to spell. So one of the easiest words to spell and not get wrong <laughs> is mum or dad because they both spell the same back to front. Okay, so you may want to do the easy thing and do mum or dad because you can't get it wrong. But let's challenge ourselves just a little bit, okay? Best thing to do is to take a scrap of parchment, and I did have a scrap of parchment here somewhere. I'll tell you what, let's just use this piece. And what we're going to do, we're going to take a, a pen and we're going to write on a piece of parchment what we want to say. So we could say happy, we could say Barbara, we could say Earl, we can say Jilly, whatever you want, happy birthday. So let's just keep it really nice and easy. And what we're gonna do is just gonna write on the parchment what we want to say. So we're gonna say for you. What that means is that when I turn that over, it's now spelt backwards. Let me get a little bit of paper underneath there. Oops. There we go. So it's now spelt backwards. So that for me would really help with my spelling because we're working on the back. To have a little practice, what we're gonna do, we're not gonna go to our masterpiece I'm going to take my plate, mate. I'm going to pop my plate in there. Even though I'm not going to use this plate at this point, it's always good to have a plate in the middle because what that means is if I'm going to go on here and I lean over the edge, I'm, it's possible I'm going to mark my parchment. So to have a plate, you could turn it face down if you're not going to use it, but to have it in place is good because it gives you that larger area to rest on. So we're going to do something really simple. We're just going to do for you using the letter boxes. So wipe with our tumble dry sheet, attach with our little tabs. And just because it's got three, doesn't mean oh I'm, you're restricted for your words because what you do is you move your parchment along and create a bigger word. So we're going to attach that there and there and we'll trace out three little boxes. Okay. Over the coming weeks, I'll show you how easy it is to extend the boxes. But again, this is just like a little practice just for your words. So I've got my three boxes there. And what I like doing, because this is at a slight angle, I like to turn it round and do it so it sort of creates sort of like a little bit of a, a shape. So we'll trace out the boxes. Are you doing this at home as well? Just, just have a play with words. Okay. Right. So I've got my words there. You could, I could have written that in white pencil and then I could rub it out. But just for ease, I've just done it in black so we can see. Now for me personally, I find it's easier when I'm spelling out a word is to remove the groovy tab so I don't get all stuck down. So my first word is going to be four and I know that I need to spend, spell it backwards. 
So I've got my F, so I know my F needs to go in there, O and R. So position your box over your first letter, and then, whoops, slowly, slowly, and then trace out the F. The next one is O, so then we're going to slide over and find our O, and trace that out. And then we're going to go for our R. So again, I'm using my word that I've written backwards as my guide. And then I want U. So I find my Y. And I've noticed that I've missed a little bit of that box there, but you know what? I can go back and add it in. It really is as easy as that. So I've got my O, back to my O again. Just need to give it a little wipe. I could just feel a little bit of resistance there on that Y. O, and then the U. There we go. So now, fingers crossed, when I turn it over, it spells for you. There you go. So, I hope you've enjoyed it. I can't believe that it's come to an end already. What we're going to do when we come back next Tuesday, we're going to carry on with our beautiful butterfly design here. So, over the course of the week, have a play with the plate. But what we're going to do, have a play with some words. And what we're going to do when we come back is we're going to, I'm going to show you how we can recreate that. Because again, we've got that beautiful landscape in the background that's using the plates in the starter kit. And it's all about sort of composition and choosing elements of it. Look, no boxes. No bo and there's a great way of me showing you how you can do that really easily. So have a play over the course of the week. Don't forget, tomorrow's ba Barbara's back at 10 o'clock in the Shack Shack. Um, and you're going to Egypt. You're still in Egypt tomorrow. So thank you for joining me. I hope I haven't waffled on too much. Um, and you've managed to get something out of it. I will try and stop saying um, um, um all the time. I'll think of a different word for, for next Tuesday. So thank you for, for joining me. Stay safe, stay happy, and stay creative. Bye-bye.